हेलो वेलकम टू एन पी टी एल एन ओ सी कोर्स ऑन पॉइंट्स टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट टू मॉड्यूल थर्टीन वी शेल कंटिन्यू और स्टडी ऑफ पैरा कॉम्पैक्टनेस फॉर सबस्टेस ऑफ आर एन देर इज ए रिजल्ट विच सेज दैट Every open cover has a subordinate partition of unity consisting of smooth functions. The word smooth will not have any meaning when you are studying arbitrary topological spaces and para compactness of that or partition of unity of that. Inside R and such a thing is possible, and what is the additional thing that we have to do there namely on every disk you can have what is called as a bump function for more you can see this uh, reference here the second thing is the local compactness in a very special way for our namely the closed disks themselves are compact okay so if you carefully study the the proof that we have given earlier okay then we can get a similar result for any metric space with the help of decomposition of any open set into a countable union of increasing disk like open sets what i mean to say that is the compactness is not all that necessary here the local compactness so something else will come to help namely the metric metric property and that is what we are going to do for more general results you may consult again kelly's book okay so i will do the bare minimum here to expose you to the ideas behind this course is not uh, something you can say a concise or comprehensive and so on okay every pseudo metric space is para compact so this is a big theorem now so slowly we have to have some patience slowly we will develop it and the development itself is quite educative okay so first of all let us have some notation here for every subset of the pseudo metric space for each integer n let us have a notation a n a is a subset and n is an integer a n is set of all x inside x such that distance of x from a complement is bigger than 1 by 2 power n okay a may be any set you take the complement and from there the distance must be at least 1 by 2 power automatically these are subsets of a subsets of a okay okay so one thing where is very easy to see is that using triangle inequality distance between a n and a n plus 1 complement will be bigger than or equal to 1 by 2 power n Minus one by two power n plus one, which is one by two power n plus one. Okay, so I again leave this elementary thing as an exercise to you. Note that for each a and each n, what we have is this one. This is also easy. A n is contained in a n bar. That is obvious always. But a n bar is contained inside a n plus one. And again, n plus one is contained inside a. So already we have this is what we want it, right? Only thing is these AIs are not compact or anything, but we have this increasing, you know, increasing uh, phenomena. A n contained in a n bar, contained in n plus one, contained inside a, and each a n is open. 
So that is because this is, this condition bigger than one by two power n. Okay. So closure will be what? Bigger than or equal to. That's all. So that is the reason why you have these are open subsets and n contains n bar, etc. Moreover, if a itself is open, then only a will be the union of a n. In what we have proved earlier was when you have locally compact uh, Lindelof space, every open subset can be written like this with each a n bar compact and so on. That is not that is not uh, what we have here, but something which we have saved here, namely with the use of metric space, we were able to write every open subset as union of countable union, union of a n with this property, a n contained a n bar contained a n plus one. Okay. So that is what I meant by, you know, writing every open set as a union of disk-like open sets. So this a n minus one, that is a n, and the whole thing is that a. Slowly, you will approach this a. Okay, they are nested very strongly in the sense that the the previous thing is contained in n plus one, that is just nested, but the closure itself is contained in n plus one. Okay, so these are just notations now. You have to remember this one for the rest of the proof. Let now u be an open cover for x. We want to extract a locally finite open refinement. That is our purpose finally. Choose a well ordered on u. So again here you have used uh, axiom of choice or so on the mind. Every set can be well ordered. Okay, for each n belonging to n, and for each u inside u, let us set up another set of notation now. U n be the, be defined as in one. U n there is no there is no change. Okay, U n is just instead of a here put u. Okay, U n is except for all x belong to x such that distance between x and u complement is bigger than by 2 power n. But more definition I am going to give you, namely u n star is a subset of u n wherein I have thrown away, this, this is the set theoretic uh, complement, set theoretic minus. Interior of all the v n plus 1s where v occurs before u u is some element in this curly u, it is well ordered, okay, so it is an ordering, you take all the initial elements to u and take all their u v n plus 1th part only, not the full v, and then take the union of all of them, okay, n is fixed here, v is varying, v is varying only this part, initial segment, okay take the interior of all this union and throw it away. Okay, u n star is that. So here is a picture of u and u1 and v1. Okay, u is the given one, v occurring, this v occurring before u. Okay, so if you look at v1 star, there is nothing. Suppose v1 was v was the first one and u was the second one. There is no throwing because there is uh, there is nothing below be, be, before that. So v1 star will be, be uh, full thing here. But u1 star, what will happen? I will have to throw away v2, right? V is there, so v2 has to be thrown away here. Okay, so that is u1 star only this part. Okay. Because of u n and v n definition, if you take any element of u and any element of v2 here, the distance will be at least one fourth. 
in the particular distance between any element here and any element here will be at least one fourth okay so this is the picture that is showing so why we are making this kind of you know adding or subtracting some portions of earlier elements only that is what we are doing here the okay, un star is this one so only u1 v1 picture i have shown so you have to do if you selecting one year element u here you have to do this for all v okay so for all v before you which occur before you in this well order the well order could be any order doesn't matter just one well order you have to fix once for all okay then un star is a closed subset of un okay contained inside you so why is a closed subset what i have deleted some open subset that's all it's interior of something whatever it is if you delete an open subset it will be a closed subset of whatever wherever you have deleted closed subset of un okay so that is what it is and it is a subset un is contained inside you if u and v are not equal they are different distinct elements of u then u n star is inside x minus v n plus 1 or v n star is in x minus v n plus 1 depending on whether v is first or u is first okay v is before u or u is before v all right because if v is before u v n plus 1 will get subtracted from u n other or otherwise uh, un plus 1 will subtract from this is all okay so that is the definition of it. therefore in either case what happens is from this general remark here distance between an and an plus 1 complement is bigger than 1 by 2 power n plus 1 which i showed you in this picture what happens is distance between u n star and v n star is always bigger than equal to 1 by 2 power n plus 1 so in this picture it was n equal to 1 so it's 1/4 okay so you don't have to do any pictures at all if you follow the logic one by step each step is a very small picture in your mind okay after that you have to just use whatever you have proved before all right so if you use uh, property 2 this should be obvious the sec the next thing is each x belongs to un for some n and some u right first of all it belongs to some u because u is a cover but once it belongs to some u from the complement of u its distance will be positive so there will be some one by n for which it is be smaller than that bigger than that so that's all you have to show then it will be inside u n okay so for first you chose choose u first okay you such that x is inside u and then since u is open and we have union of u n is equal to u okay so one of x must be inside one of the u n okay we put now un hat is see you can get bored so first you had un star here now un hat is set of all x such that distance between x and un star is less than 1 by 2 power n plus 3 okay and u and twiddle is all those x such that distance in x and u and star is 1 by 2 power 1 more 2 power n plus 4 okay so both of them are here this is less than this is less than or equal to that you have to pay attention each u and is open once again and u and twiddle is closed because there is equality here and because this is 2 power n plus 4 u and twiddle will be contained inside u and hat once again the same property 2 will tell you 
the distance between u n hat and v n hat is bigger than or equal to 1 divided by 2 power n plus 2. Okay? For every u, for every v inside u. So, this time you can directly use the fifth property here that distance between u n star and u n star is 1 divided by 2 n plus 1. Okay? So, u n hat, v n hat, similarly you can talk about u n twiddle. This u n twiddle really will not be needed in the, in the final proof, but it will play some auxiliary role, so I have kept it. Okay? So, distance between u n twiddle and v n twiddle is 1 by 2 power, sorry, u n hat, u n hat, 1 by 2 power n plus 2 and they are open subsets. No matter whether u occurs first or v occurs first. Next, for each n inside uh, natural number, put v n equal to this collection u n hat, where u ranges over all of u. Okay, so each member is a open subset. So this is an open family of open sets. All right. Take v to be union of v n. So we have written v as a countable union of these families. What is the property of these v n and v? V is an open cover for x. Not v n, but when you take all of them. V that is an open cover for X and V is a refinement of U. Okay. So how to check X the, this uh, tenth one? This can be checked as follows. As in the case of six, what we have what we have done here, that each X belongs to some U N. Okay. So each X will belong to some u n star also is what you have to say. Okay. In as in six, choose first u so that x is inside u, then x will be inside some u n first, okay, but then it is also in u n star because it does not belong to any v, all those v's which you have subtracted, it will not be inside v. So that will be in u n star. All right. But why it is in u n hat? Since u n star is contained inside u n hat, we are done. Okay, indeed, this also proves that x itself is in u n twiddle also because u n stars are contained inside u n twiddle also. Okay, so remember, these are less than less than. So, u n hat and u n twiddle actually fatten the u n star. Right, all those which are of uh, distance smaller than that one. So you have to understand this inequality. He has in the beginning we are bigger than bigger than, right? So both of them are used, left and right. You are cutting down things. All right. So we are we know that this U N S and U N twiddles, U N twiddles are closed. V itself is an open cover. Okay, so that much we have done. Okay, and it's a refinement of u because all these elements are for each u n is subset of u corresponding u, right? So they are inside each. All right. Now look at u n star is contained as a u n. So u n hat, which is actually all those x belong to x. So the distance between x and u n is one by two power n plus three. I am just recalling this definition. Is contained inside u n plus 2. Okay. And that is contained inside. You see, u n was contained in u n plus 1. But u n hat is not contained in u n plus 1, but in contained in u n plus 2. Okay. So that is contained inside u. Okay. So all these, all these u n hats are also, is also an open cover for, uh, is also a refinement of it. Okay. So, finally, I will have one more notation here. Let u n check equal to u n hat minus 
यूनियन ऑफ ऑल वी के ट्विडल्स वी बिलोंगिंग टू यू एंड के इज लेस देन एन सो दिस इज वेर द ट्विडल्स वेर यूज ओके दिस इज ओनली केस वेर वी हैव टू लिव वॉट वी आर डाइन नाउ यू एन चेक केस आई डोंट वॉन्ट इवन यू एन हैट आई एम आई एम चेकिंग अवे सम पोर्शन ऑफ दैट नेमली दीज आर क्लोज सबसेट्स नाउ टेक द यूनियन ऑफ ऑल दीज we k hat where v is inside you but the integer k is smaller than n now all we am taking inside you but k must be less than n so you you throw away that part note that this v k twiddle where k is less than n there is a bound for uh, under k v k twiddle but v itself is in the entire of you This is a locally finite family of closed sets. Okay. Therefore, it follows that each U N check is open. When you have locally finite, remember this uh, thing about locally finiteness. Locally finite family of closed sets. When you take arbitrary union, it is still a closed set. Okay, so this whole thing is closed set. The complement will be an you know, open subset now. U and hats were open subset. This U and twiddles were not. They were closed subset. So U and check. These are open subset. Okay. I have a question. Why this family is locally finite? Because you have taken only finitely many of them. Okay. So what is V K? If you take any two of them different from same V, the same K, they are actually disjoint. So that is what this property you may have to use. U and hat, V and hat. Don't worry about U and V here. I mean, what they are? They are two different elements of U V, uh, of capital U, curly U. Okay, their distance between them is. Bigger than one by two power n plus n two power n plus two. Okay. Uh, sir, I have one more question here. Hmm. Uh, so, starting with the open cover, hmm. first we made u n stars. Hmm. The collection of which is also a cover for x, but uh, that was not open. That's yes. why you consider you right, right. Act. So they are not; they are closed subsets, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, so this uh, UN head collection hmm. was the open refinement, hmm. but uh, that may not be locally finite. <laughs> so that's why you are coming to UN check, right? Yes. That this, this precisely uh, uh, subtracting these things, you know, we can add. That will make it new and check locally finite. We will see that. Okay, yeah. So first of all, U N check is open now. You see, we we didn't even stop at U N hats also. Okay. So first of all, these are open itself. You you have to look for that these these things are locally finite. That is fine. We can, but they are closed things, right? So now. these are open subset first thing so what we want to do is that this is now take w to be the collection of all subsets of the form u n hat u range over u n range over n okay that is like all u n s first n fixed and then taking the union over n you can say double that that is a cover of x it's an open refinement this is locally finite itself All right. There is no sigma locally finite ness here. <laughs> this W is actually locally finite. So we have to prove this: thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. So say how do you prove thirteen? Thirteen is that X, that W covers the whole thing. Okay. Given any X, again, let N be the first integer such that X belongs to U and Twiddle. For some u, 
Okay, once it is in some u, there will be some n for which it belongs to. Okay, so let us take x belongs to some the first u integer for some u. It follows that it is not occurring here at all, right? Because all v is before that I have uh, k less than n I have taken, but n is the first one to which it belongs to. It will not be inside some other uh, u k k less than n. So, this part it is not there, so it must be inside u n check. So once it is here, it will be inside u n check. So, that is the trick here. So, these things cover, okay. Fourteenth is what? It is an open refinement we have we have told. It is this open and these are refinements, they are all subsets of u, that is clear. Fifteenth is why it is locally finite, okay. To see the 15th one, notice that u n twiddle chosen as above is a neighborhood of x and does not intersect any v m check for m bigger than n. Because these n twiddle u n twiddles would have been subtracted from v m, right. So, it does not intersect v m twiddle at all. Therefore, if we choose 0 less than r less than 1 divided by 2 power n plus 3, okay, then this ball brx which will be contained inside u n twiddle, okay, I, I, oh sorry, what I want to say, r must be less than this, it may be even further smaller, so that brx is contained in u n twiddle, because u n twiddles are open subsets, uh, uh, neighborhoods, okay they are open subsets also. Then Brx will intersect at most one member of Vm, okay, because m less than equal to n, n less than equal to m, both of them it cannot be. As soon as m, m it will not intersect anything smaller or bigger. One fix, one of them it will intersect, okay. So that is why this 1 by 2 power n plus 3 I have to show. Once there is an R such that V R of X is in U N twiddle, you can make it smaller than any further also. You can take it smaller than 1 by 2 power N plus 3 also. Okay. So, if such a choice is possible, then it happens that it will intersect only one of them. Okay. So, this completes the proof of the theorem. There is a remark here which which is a bit uh, deep, takes you a little deeper. So, I do not mind even if you do not understand in the first reading, okay. So, but uh, I will make this remark. A family A of subsets of topological space is called sigma discrete family. If each x belong to x has a neighborhood which meets at most one member of A. So, one of you asked this question, that is why this remark will be even more relevant here now. So, why is sigma locally? What happens is, you see, this condition right in the beginning, distance between these two is bigger than minus 2 power n plus 1. So, this u n stars and v n stars, same n, but u and v are different elements of the same cover. What happens to these sets? They are disjoint, right? Not only that, this is stronger than being disjoint. Namely, I can take small open subsets around them, right? For all of them, around all of them simultaneously, such that all these neighborhoods are disjoint. So, <laughs> Because of this uh, metric property, we are able to do that one. Such a thing is, you can make that as an axiom in the general case, okay, then it be, it's called sigma discrete, oh, that's what I am trying to say here. A family is discrete family if each point x belongs to x has a neighborhood which means at most one member of A, okay. You see, if the distance between is something positive, each point x I can take the ball of radius half of that distance. 
whatever positive i say half the half that radius then what i get is that that open ball cannot intersect both of them that's all okay so that is what we have achieved here okay it is called sigma discrete if it is union of countable union of ans where each an is discrete okay so that is why that n has come when you fix n it is a discrete family you take the union it becomes a uh, cover and so on okay only countable union have to take such a thing is called sigma discrete this family a itself is not discrete okay that's one one thing you have to understand is sigma discrete properties is 8 to 9 say we said this v which we have constructed is sigma discrete open refinement of u so in general what one does it without assuming matrix space you like to uh, prove this one out of some other property by making this uh, this definition sigma discreteness okay we have not used this concept anywhere in the course and so that's what i want to say if you prefer you can simply ignore it for the time being if you are interested more then you can look into kelly's book okay so coming back to rn we have remarked earlier that due to the existence of some smooth functions we get partitions of unity subordinate to an open cover moreover since step 1 of the proof of 3.6 is valid for all open subsets of rn it follows that every open subset of rn is para compact indeed it is also true that every subspace of rn is normal because it's a metric space but what is important here is that given an open cover for any subspace there is a smooth partition of unity subordinate to that open cover but the functions are all defined on the entire of rn okay not on just that open subset thinking a little further along this line okay you will be able to prove the following theorem okay this is this i will get it as a corollary to whatever we have done so far all this remark is for getting such a uh, motivation from rn let x be a second countable locally compact half dot space then every closed subset of x is the precise zero set of a continuous real valued function you can choose the the codomain to be 0 1 the closed interval 0 1 once you have this it follows that such a thing is a g delta set also because the precise set zero set of a continuous function is a g delta set okay you can just write it as intersection of inverse image alpha inverse of zero closed and 1 by n open okay so how do we prove this one it's not difficult start with any f continuous x closed subset for each x in the complement choose a function alpha x from x to 0 such so that alpha x at x is 1 and alpha x of f is 0 okay consider the open cover u which is alpha x inverse of open 0 1 closed x belonging to this fc i have such function right alpha x so take u to be this this open set this will be an open cover for fc okay fc being a closed subset of a second countable say is second countable locally compact and t2 okay therefore it is para compact so any open cover so this open cover u there is a 
locally finite open refinement further by second countability any open cover you can get a countable sub cover it will be again a locally finite refinement okay so we get a countable locally finite open refinement u n n belonging to n i can write like this of u okay these u n's are not necessarily subsets of u i mean they are not members of u but they are refinements they are contained in some members of u since each u n is contained in some alpha x inverse of 0 1 that is the way it occurs right for some x we can select one alpha x such that and relabel it as alpha n instead of alpha x so alpha x n i am cutting it short to alpha n that's all okay so define alpha now from x to 0 infinity no index here right equal to sum of all alpha n's but divided by 2 power n each of them after dividing to power n take the sum these 2 power n's are there obviously to make the whole sum convergent these alpha n's are bounded by you know they are 0 to 1 so any number 0 to 1 divided by 2 power n summation is convergent okay not only convergent is uniformly convergent so alpha will be automatically continuous function now it's elementary thing to check that this alpha x is 0 exactly on f that's all we want to prove okay so go through this uh, this proof carefully again and again maybe three times it doesn't matter okay the each step each way why you are doing all this somewhat uh, circus kind of thing they have meaning there next time we will do some general result which comes from nowhere but the motivation is here if you know this one you know where it is coming okay thank you